Hi everyone. So today I'm going to do a little look with um, Oh My Glam. So we got this gorgeous palette at the birthday party. The Oh My Glam first birthday party. So I'm going to do a little eye look with this. I also got these, which are the six matte tastic OMG Oh My Glam matte lipsticks, and the twelve lip indulgence set. So these are glosses. And there they all are on the back. And I'm going to do individual videos of the swatches for these. In the goodie bag, we actually got this gorgeous little headband. I'm going to pop that on. Yeah. And while I'm at it, I'm going to take this Glam Doll Beauty Blender. And I'm going to mist it. I'm going to take this lovely illuminating gel. It's so gorgeous, it might actually be used up. Now, oh yes. So after the uh, skin brightener, I'm going to go in with a little bit of the baby skin by Maybelline. Tiny bit, because that's all that's left. Now, because I don't know what I'm doing with my eyes yet, I'm actually going to put my full face on right now and then decide afterwards. Just the Note Cosmetics Foundation in the number one beige. Next up, I'm going to use my Sleek Life Proof concealer. This is in the shade flat white, number one flat white. Take the Sleek Makeup Cream Contour Kit in Dark 097. And with this gorgeous little Joelle brush that we got in our goodie bag from the Oh My Glam birthday, I am going to go a bit crazy and I'm going to go for this one here. YOLO. <laughs> I don't have a very white nose, but we'll put it down the side anyway. Alrighty, so I've used my um, Life Proof Sleek Concealer in Flat White and my Sleek Contouring Palette in Dark 97. This is what I look like. I think I'm ready to rock, guys. Joke. Oh, there goes the hairband. Alright. I actually think I have a different hairband. Be right back. Yeah, I'll go with this one. I'm actually going to get a little Kabuki brush and do these ones, blend in these bits. Hey guys, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this brand new beautiful blank canvas brush and I am going to take the OMG palette and I'm going to see Sly Fox here. I'm going to go in with Sly Fox into the crease because that's where I find my eyeshadow starts to crease first. So I just want to set it now quickly before that starts. So when I'm putting a colour into the crease, I usually look straight into the mirror, so I have my eye open, because then I can see exactly where I'm putting it. And I go in little circular motions, and I just blend it right in. Okay? Now, now that I'm not afraid of that moving anywhere, I'm going to hit up my eyebrows. Alrighty? So I have my little Notes Cosmetics um, palette here, and I find these super good, because they have a little bit of everything in them. I'm going to take a Real Techniques brow brush. I love Real Techniques. And I'm going to take a brown powder, which is this one down here. And I'm just going to draw a very light line along the bottom, the bottom of where my eyebrows, my eyebrow hair starts. And then I'm going to feather it out. Okay, so you want that kind of curved arch. Then I'm going to start bringing it upwards into the kind of three quarters of the eyebrow. I always like to elongate mine a little bit just because my eyes are so big that otherwise I look a bit odd. I know somebody's going to comment on this and be like, you look bloody odd anyway, but... I'm okay with that. That's why you're watching me, isn't it? Now, so then I just take a little bit more powder and I sort of, well, I would say, like, shimmy it up into the hairs, into the brow hairs. You don't need a lot. It doesn't have to be a huge amount. I know that looks quite dark on camera, but it'll make much better sense now in a little while because I'm going to go pretty dramatic with the eyebrow, with the eyeballs. 
I'm still looking very shiny. Still looking very shiny. Anyway, I'm going to take this concealer. And I nearly did a quick crease there. <laughs> and I'm just going to go right underneath here. And even though you're not really taking anything away, it does kind of sharpen it up. It makes it, it brightens it. Next, I'm going to take some of this beautiful Oh My Glam Halo. I'm going to pop a little bit on the back of my hand here because it's gorgeous. I'm going to put it in the corners here. Oh yeah, oh yeah, this is stunning. God, I make some dreadful faces, but honestly, look at that. Okay, that's gonna be way too. I wanna put some Inglot Illuminating Loose Powder. I think it's number four, it's the yellow one. And I'm just gonna tap a little bit of that onto the cover and set underneath my eyes. Now, if you wanted to bake, you just bring the powder down. And this is why I think this would be a great beauty blender to bake with, because you could just come straight down here. This is the Glam Doll Beauty Blender. Blend, 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 blend. I'm just gonna go for it, guys. These are the six matte lipsticks. This is Sangria. So I did a little poll today on my Instagram. I'm gonna say Cats PJs Dublin. I'll link it down below. And I did a poll asking were people gloss people or matte people? And it seems that everybody's kind of in love with matte. So I swatched this the other night and it stayed on the back of my hand all night. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to put this on and kind of cut the edges with the wand. Yeah, I think I have pretty big lips, so I don't really tend to overdraw them. I'm gonna use the Rimmel Match Perfection in the shade 001 Transparent. I'm gonna take this beautiful 1SS Inglot brush and I'm gonna dip in. I'm going to put it where the bone is, right here. So I'm not actually on top of the bone, but I'm going to put it on the bone. There's a reason, I promise. So I'm just going to... I want to separate where the highlight ends here and where it begins here. So I'm going to go back in with a bit more of this halo. So now, because you're putting a liquid on top of a powder, you need to work very fast or it'll get lumpy. Oh, look at that. Right, so what I've done is I have worked a little bit of it into the back of my hand and then worked it well into the brush and then used it nearly like a powder. So I am loving that right now. I have only one thing left to do then, which is the main event. So I'm going to get out my lovely fair skin. Now it does come with a little brush that is reasonably uh, soft. Now next I'm going to take the blank canvas brush again and I'm actually going to go in with the bonfire colour. I'm going to go in with the bonfire colour. Now I'm going to take this colour here, Thunderbird. I'm going to start from the outside and push it in to the very outer corner. I generally prefer a softer brush. Hmm. Thirty. There. He has to go to thirty. And now I'm going to go in with Bear Cub. So this one here, Bear Cub. I'm going to go into the middle part. A fuchsia firm blender 204. It's almost like a little flip brush. I think it'll go in a cannon, to be honest. So, because I have my lovely highlight in, in the inner corner, I'm not going to cover that up. But I'm just going to make a blend from there into the eyeshadows. Now, 
now it's time for me to darken up the crease and go in at the edges. So now I'm going to use these beautiful colours, Big Bear, Rickshaw and Coffee Pot. So I'm going to first take Big Bear, top off all the bits that I don't want, and I'm going to go back out to this corner here, start in the crease and work a line into the crease. Because I do want it quite defined, I do want an actual line there. I do want either side to be blended together, but I don't want it all to be one colour. Does that make sense? There's actually a really handy little mirror in the um, in the palette. So I'm just using that. And I'm just going into there. Because I don't want to bring that really dark. I don't want to bring the darkness in towards the middle because that's where I'm trying to brighten. So now that's the colour I'm going to bring underneath. On both sides. That lovely coffee pot colour in here just to give us a little bit more sharper. Oh, Jason. Oh, I look like your man, Tim Burton, goes to the museum or something, isn't it? And then, last but not least, Rickshaw. I'm gonna take Rickshaw, I'm gonna start on the outy bit, I'm gonna bring it in just a little bit, just to darken up the lash line. Boom. We also need to go underneath as well, so I'm just going to put that as close as I can to my eye. Crap, there's another hairband. What is wrong with my head? That it just won't sit on? I think that's pretty cute. Now, so I'm going to take my e.l.f. Cosmetics in Coiffe 12S, 12S brush. I'm going to sharpen the edges of the brush on the corner of my hand. Until it's really skinny like that. So it's in sections, starting from the inside. Because I've already darkened up the lash line, it blends into the lash line really, really nice. So I'm going to put a little on the lower waterline. Now, I have quite the eyes, so I, I can take eyeliner. If you have smaller eyes, I would suggest to just come to kind of here with your eyeliner on the bottom line. And I'm just going to go underneath and attempt anyway to get rid of these harsh, a little bit harsh lines. I'm going to take some of the muffin shade back and forth and in little circles, but obviously it's your lower lash, your lower eyelid. I'm pretty happy with that. Last, but not least, Finish the look off with some eyelashes. These are Madison eyelashes in Wild. Here is my beautiful glue. So I use the Geo Glue. This is the brown one. And I just put a little bit on the back of my hand um, and I leave it there for a minute to start to get tacky, start to get, uh, start to dry up basically. And while I'm doing that, I'm going to show you these. These are the 12 Lip Indulgence from Oh My Glam Cosmetics. And I am going to take this one, which is Blood Red. Oh, I just think that looks better. I'm going to take out these eyelashes and measure them up to my eyes. So be nice and careful about taking them off. I'm going to bend them around my thumb. Like that. No, it's not. I'm going to bend them around my thumb. Um, they're really lovely. They're really light. Really light and fluttery. And the reason for this is uh, just to loosen up the band a little bit. Although, to be honest, the band is pretty skinny on these. <laughs> come on, come do. <laughs> and what I do is I stick it into the glue and then I make another little, like I blot off kind of anything that's remaining. And then I look down into the mirror. And that's the bottle. All right. And then the same with the other side. So once I just drop it down onto the lash, then I'm going to just gently press in the inside corner and then the outside corner. I'm going to take a little bit of Maybelline mascara and just darken up my lashes that are underneath. I'm not trying to hit the um, false lash itself. I'm just trying to grab onto the lash. Voila, that's it. I'm going to leave the product list in the description box below. And thank you very much.